Welcome to Shalom Park and the Sandra and Leon Levine Jewish Community Center. My name is Dana Kapustin and I'm the Butterfly Project Coordinator. We are so happy that you have joined us here today to participate in the Butterfly Project. Our goals for you today are to participate in a hands-on educational program where you will honor and memorialize the 1.5 million Jewish children who lost their lives in the Holocaust. These were children just like you, who had brothers and sisters, mothers and fathers, friends, and who had their whole lives to look forward to. But these lives were cut short. While you're here today, you'll have the opportunity to visit our butterfly garden and sculpture you will also participate in an educational discussion group that will inspire you to build bridges of communication, understanding, and respect for all people. Now it is my honor and privilege to introduce you to a survivor of the Holocaust. Good morning. I'm so delighted to see you here. The youngest child in that picture with the outrageous bow is three years old and she has been living most of her life in a prison camp and that child is me. On the night of November 9th, 10, 1938, millions of Germans took to the streets and they burned all the synagogues in Germany. There were thousands of people in the street breaking windows and there were people yelling Juden raus and Juden verrecking which meant out with the Jews and exterminate them. At that moment, I thought that I was going to die. I think the Holocaust survivor, when she spoke, it really touched me because I've never heard anyone speak about it like that. I think it's a really great experience for me to have to understand more about the Holocaust and what people have been through. If I saw someone getting bullied, I'd stand up for them. And don't let them feel bad about themselves how they look, how they dress, their race, their religion. Now, I returned to Europe exactly five years later on April the 5th, 1945, when I passed through the Straits of Gibraltar on the United States troop ship USS Wakefield on the way to Italy as a soldier in the United States Army during World War II. And that is my story. And out of the 40,000 Jewish people who lived in my hometown of Kovno, Lithuania, only 2,000 remained, only 5%, and my family was intact. This is my story. Thank you so much for listening. Stereotypes and prejudice, when left uninterrupted, climb up the pyramid of intolerance and turn from little things into big things. If we don't interrupt prejudice attitudes and acts of prejudice, they lead to discrimination, violence, and ultimately genocide. Each one of us has the ability to stand up, take action, and do the right thing. When a group of people, or even just one person, decides that they are better than someone else, it can only lead to bad outcomes. We hope that this knowledge will inspire you to take action in your everyday life. For more information about participating in the Butterfly Project, please email the Butterfly Project at the Sandra and Leon Levine Jewish Community Center at butterflyproject at charlottejcc.org or call 704-944-6833. Or you can look us up on the web at www.charlottejcc.org.